Hey folks, here is my Annabelle creation review. This is a non-spoiler review. I will tell you that I went into this film as a horror fan, as somebody that loved all the prior entries into the Conjuring universe. I actually really, I think the first Conjuring film is one of the best made horror films within the past five to ten years. The first Conjuring film still holds up today, so if you've seen it and haven't seen it in a while, I think you'll still be entertained. There are moments when I still see the Conjuring film that those scary moments still unsettle me a bit, so that tells me that it's a great film, and I still enjoy the story as I watch the film. I actually like most of what James Wan has created within his horror films. Not a big fan on the Saw films, but I do appreciate and I can... I can respect the first Saw film, which Juan created. He has a knack for just creating really great uh, different types of horror films. And he's a solid director, and I definitely count him as one of my favorite directors in general. I'm actually really excited to see what he's going to do with Aquaman, which is a DC Comics property. So I'm looking forward to that. And speaking of DC Comics really quickly, the director of this film, he previously did Lights Out, which is a solid horror film. He has done Annabelle Creation. He will be doing Shazam, which is another DC property. So I'm looking forward to that as well. So Annabelle Creation is... uh, Where do I begin with this film? There's so many awesome things to talk about. And I don't want to, you know, spoil anything for, for you all. This film can stand on its own. You don't need to have seen any of the other Conjuring films, though I do recommend them, just because those films are solid on their own merit. But Annabelle Creation has a great cast. It has great scares. The number of scares that they fit into this film is pleasantly surprising. If you are a horror fan, you will not be disappointed. The scares are creative and enjoyable and they're very entertaining and the quantity is just wow, awesome. I like <laughs> the number of scares is like something you would see like in a compilation video on YouTube like the top, you know, 12 scares in the last 15 years or whatever. There's so many scares in this film and they're really well placed and they fit so nicely into the narrative of this film. This film has a great pace and a a solid and cohesive narrative. The story is enjoyable. And what makes this film great as well as just being very scary and entertaining is the cast. I am amazed at the performances of uh, the young girls who are the main protagonists. They give excellent performances. You you get invested into these characters. You feel for these characters. You want them to be happy. You want, you know, the happy ending for them. You want uh, them not to get hurt. You want them to get through this. And so you definitely feel for them. You definitely, like, feel, you know, sad when things happen to them. So yeah, just really great performances and a a level of connectiv a level of connectivity that uh, is missing in a lot of uh, not just horror films but films in general. And David Sandberg, who is the director, what a what a solid uh, film and really showing that he is evolving as a director. Like I said, I loved Lights Out. I loved Annabelle Creation. I'm really looking forward to what he will be doing in the future, as well as Shazam, any other types of films that he's going to be making. I'm I'm really looking forward to. He uh, has definitely made his mark. And Annabelle Creation is one of those films that you should go see in the theater, preferably in a packed theater, because there's two ways to watch a horror film. And that is alone, with the lights out, late at night, and you just totally psych yourself out. And uh, the second way is in a crowded theater where everybody just collectively pools their emotions and their raw energy. And so when anything gets exposed or expressed, we all kind of feel it. Even if you see something or hear something in a film that normally doesn't like trigger an emotional response, 
you feel it because somebody else like screamed or you know a handful of others shrieked you may not shriek but you'll you'll kind of like you know register a little bit like oh oh that uh, that was unsettling <laughs> so it's an experience to go see it in the theaters and so this film definitely delivers in every way imaginable that a horror film should and uh it's it's not a b-rated horror film i love b-rated horror films uh but this is a different type of horror film this is a very solid entry uh, i need to see it again like i said i need to count the number of scares that were in it i feel like there are a lot within this film uh, but also to just take it all in again uh great cinematography great establishing shots uh there's just a certain style and aesthetic to the film that is that just makes the film very pleasant to watch you know uh one idea for david sandberg i think he would do an awesome job with bioshock that's a video game franchise um after seeing this film i feel like he could be a good contender for that property I'd love to hear what you all think after you've seen it. Let me know. Did you like it? Did you feel like it was scary? Do you feel like there are there's anywhere else for the Annabelle property to go, or should they just leave it at this? It's a solid entry. They definitely have left it open for the possibility of, of other sequels, but uh, it seems like James Wan uh, has other pro- uh, spinoffs that he wants to do. I think he's doing a Nun spinoff film and a Crooked Man spinoff film, which are characters from the second Conjuring film. Should he focus on those? or Because sh- it seems like Annabelle is very popular, even though <laughs> she's an inanimate doll. Uh, it's surprising how popular uh, her... Uh, her property is so i love to hear what your thoughts are on this film again i would say it's a very solid film it's a must see especially for horror fans and even if you aren't a horror fan i think you will find something worthwhile in this film thank you